Welcome to Azure Essentials. In the next few minutes, we'll explore your automation options as standalone capabilities and across services in Azure. Azure offers a variety of services from runbook automation and resource manager templates to automated commands available in PowerShell or Azure CLI and beyond, as well as capabilities built directly into services and workloads like scaling, scheduling, eventing, and more. Azure Automation itself is a software as a service or SaaS application within Azure that allows you to use runbooks to automate processes and it can be used to orchestrate other automation options within Azure. Runbooks can be authored using PowerShell, graphical, or Python tools. And these can be executed in Azure via hybrid workers for scenarios outside of Azure. You can get started with pre-configured community contributed runbooks from the runbook gallery, where you'll find simple but useful samples like starting and stopping multiple VMs, vertically scaling SQL Server databases, building an Active Directory forest, and more. Runbooks are powerful tools to automate a broad range of tasks in Azure. But there are many more automation options across services and across the lifecycle of management, from deployment and day-to-day -day management to optimizing resources and complex hydration. Next up, Azure Resource Manager templates provide a declarative approach to provisioning resources and even entire multi-tiered applications end-to-end -end within Azure. Azure Resource Manager templates allow you to define complete topologies with compute, networking, and any other type of resource you need for the apps, services, and solutions you build in Azure. These templates are JSON-based files that define the required infrastructure, services, and configurations to be automated. And you can even provide parameters to customize the resulting services to your environment. You can deploy Azure Resource Manager templates using the Azure CLI, PowerShell, Cloud Shell, the Azure Portal, and many other SDKs or tools for Azure. You can learn from many existing solutions, including quick start templates and existing solutions in the public Azure Marketplace or via the Azure Portal. These Marketplace solutions are provided by Microsoft and our partners to provide a first-class experience for deploying and running production workloads in Azure. When you provision an application via the Azure Marketplace, you're guided through an easy step-by-step -step process to configure basic settings and parameters, determining things like under which subscription the solution will run, resource group assignment, deployment region, sizing, disk type, network configurations, and integration settings. These steps are great for provisioning and building out highly customized scenarios using Visual Studio Code or other JSON editors. And from within a resource group and its underlying resources, you can access an Azure Resource Manager template by selecting automation scripts in the portal. You can then use it as a starting point to customize additional automation for your virtual machines, container, database, and app services, virtual networks, and more within a resource group. You can initiate the Azure Resource Manager template, for example, using Azure CLI commands, PowerShell commandlets, .NET, or Ruby. And for more comprehensive scenarios, you can also upload artifacts like PowerShell or Bash scripts that can be called by Azure Resource Manager as part of a post-deployment configuration process. Moving on to serverless options for automation. Azure Logic Apps is a service that allows you to run automated, scalable workflows that integrate apps and data across cloud services and on-premises systems. With Logic Apps, you can create, design, and deploy automation for integration with both business and IT-related processes. Hundreds of Logic App connectors are pre-built for easy drag-and-drop style development with other services like Azure SQL Database, Office 365, Salesforce, Google G Suite, or a broad range of Azure services. And you can build your own custom connectors, calling your own code snippets via Azure Functions, Open API definitions, Postman collections, or from scratch. Additionally, Azure Functions is a core serverless compute service that enables you to run code on demand without having to explicitly provision or manage infrastructure. You can call Azure Functions with your code to run a script or other automation based on a trigger or event. Azure Functions can be written in C-sharp, F-sharp, JavaScript, or Java, and will be adding more common scripting languages and developer platforms over time. Now, it's important to note that in addition to automation platforms spanning resource types, there are unique automation options within individual resources themselves, like virtual machines, databases, app services, storage, AI, and IoT. And there are both customizable and built-in methods across Azure services to automate processes and tasks. Starting with virtual machines, there are several automation options in addition to automation scripts. A core concept of cloud computing is elastic scale. And virtual machine scale sets deliver elastic scale by letting you automatically create and manage a group of identical load balance VMs. The number of VM instances can automatically increase or decrease in response to demand or a defined schedule. You can also automate simple common operations within your virtual machines, like auto shutdown of the VM or recurring backups or OS updates. In data services, there are also automated options for data discovery and classification. This can be used for discovering, classifying, labeling, and protecting the sensitive data in your databases and dynamic data masking, where an automated process can discover credit card, email, or custom number of string formats to hide sensitive information from view. 
App Services Automation can use web jobs, which run scripts or programs as background processes in the context of your app, either continuously or when triggered. You can also use App Service Push to send push notifications via notification hubs to trigger events or report status for an automated process. Azure Queue Storage provides asynchronous messaging between application components, whether they're running in the cloud, on the desktop, or an on-premises server or on a mobile device. Queue Storage also supports managing asynchronous tasks and process workflows used for automated processes and procedures. Automation options also extend to artificial intelligence workloads using Batch AI and Internet of Things using IoT Hub to trigger automated workflows. There's also device provisioning services for Zero Touch, which gives you just-in-time automated provisioning that can scale to millions of devices. So that was a run-through of a few core options for automation in Azure. These are the common services and controls you can leverage within the Azure portal. But since many services can be automated via your code and scripting, combined with polling and eventing, there are limitless options where you can use your tools of choice along with Azure services. And of course, you can learn more about running your apps and workloads on Azure by following the related topics on Azure Essentials. Thanks for watching.